see what we got going on today. Bumpers cut down on uh, Danger Ranger. Um, got headlights. I mean, well, not headlights, but headlights above the plow lights. Um, got the uh, hydraulic switch hooked up. Um, of course, you know, this did, did not just bolt on. But, you know, the funny thing is, it didn't bolt right onto the Chevy either because you could tell. Okay. Man, I can't even see. See that plate right there? It goes straight up with the angle. See right there where that where it kicks out? About I don't know, maybe two inches. Well, that was there. So it is all it's over like two inches from the center. Got these lights hooked up today. Um, I cut down the the plow, cut like 18 inches off, and I had to cut those and re-weld them back on. Um, I got to put this little flap around the thing on, and um, I took the time and uh, sand blasted down because what they had had was a good idea. What they had is a piece of red plastic, but it was thick plastic, so the snow would slide right off. Well, when it got cracked and stuff, snow got trapped in there. See, this is normal metal, and that's that's pretty um, toasty to me. Let's go ahead and get another bird's eye view of it. There we go, that's not that bad. See, this is how bad it was getting in some spots. Trying to get pretty thin little pinholes, so I got some dents in there too. But it is what it is. Um, Cut it down and cut the top off, cut like four inches off the top because you know, plow is too big for the ranger. Um, not gonna say I sandblasted, I'm just gonna say uh, I wire wheeled it a little bit until I got tired of doing it and uh, rust deadened it with a copper sulfate, I believe. I don't know if it's cut, no, it's something. Got this from uh, idea from. Uh, Man, I can't remember his channel. He's got, he's got the Camaro with the blue green flames. I'm sorry. He's the one that got uh, sulfuric acid. He's the one that got me hooked up on that stuff. It's a lot cheaper than buying it at the body shop store. Um, put that on it, and then I put oil base, um, brushed it on rusty metal primer, and I did two coats of red. And tomorrow, I gotta fat my brackets on to put my bumpers up there. I don't have to, but I'm going to. Um, I was surprised, really. Um, the Ranger really didn't drop like I thought it was gonna. I thought it was, it dropped a little, but it didn't drop a whole lot like I thought it was gonna. Um, at least this plow truck will be, you know, the difference in this plow truck and the other plow truck, the other plow truck had crappy tires. Okay, let me tell you the good thing. This has got good tires, the windows go up and down, the back window goes down, the windshield wipers work, it got some mirror in it, it's got a heater that goes to one, two, three, four. Um, the four wheel drive actually works all the time. Um, it's got heat, it's got a CD player. And fresh hydraulic fluid. Unlike the other plow truck, had bald tires. Uh, switch underneath went bad, and four-wheel drive wasn't working. Basically, had to, had to have a charger. I'm gonna. I took the other one to the, the bone yard for two and a quarter and buy a, a really good battery, like 950 cold cranking amps for this. So might have to run two batteries. I don't know, cause um, whatever. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, yeah, that's what it's turned into is a yard truck. Yeah, and commercial break. I'll show you what I bought. I've been wanting for a while. It's all I would go out there, but it's in the rain, and 
I'm not going out in the rain. Well, I did buy me some boots. Because old man winter's coming around the corner. Ain't that right, James Freddie? Okay, let's go and do a commercial break. It won't, I got a scream, scream, screaming deal. Really? And meanwhile, one person knows what that is. Nobody else knows what it is. Um, it's not going to load, you piece of... Well, Ryan, there's something about this garage is like a dead zone. I got to stand outside in a corner half the time to get any kind of internet. But, um, so I can't show you. I'll wait for another day. Um, here's a, my find of the week. Um, is that the junkyard? Was in, you'd be surprised what you find in, um, the junkyard. This is what it started out to be. And then I did some metal flake, uh, glue. Seven inch high heel. Um, come on now, who doesn't like that slutty stuff? I don't think there's a man out there that doesn't like that. Garter belts and high heels, especially if they were clear high heels. But anyway, we're getting sidetracked, ain't we, Pops? Fuck them all, huh? And I guess it's time to go home because. Um, Cause this is what we got. Yeah, even though um, I'm supposed to have internet and I pay for it, but uh, it's turd bomb out in the wilderness. Say good night, Irene. One more thing. Um, the caddy's sitting out in the rain. Uh, today's Saturday. It's only been in the sun one day, so uh, tomorrow's gonna be sunny. But um, yeah, you think this is gonna work? This uh, this costs a whole four dollars and come from overseas. <laughs> This is supposed to tell me when I plug it into the system that it's supposed to erase the code on the airbag that goes to the seats or the airbag in the steering wheel or it's going to tell you if that's the fault and that's why you're getting an airbag code out of $3.98 free shipping. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like a road clip to me. We'll find out. Um, I pissed money away worse than that, I guess. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Really? Sad. So you got a Swisher, 8 and 3 quarter, 28 ton. Okay. And it's 190 cc. Wow. I got the same thing. It's a hundred, no, 337 cc, I think, 331. It's 11 and a half inch motor for 700 bucks. It's three years old. Scream and screaming deal. Anyway, this, uh, this is pretty much done. This is a little um, weld action. Take the brackets, swing them around backwards, and put it on there. Um, couldn't find no tennis balls, so um, I took uh, these noodle things that people go swimming in. These foam things. The truck's pretty much done that I can see. And I'll show you the Swisher log splitter. It's horizontal and vertical. I didn't think I'd ever, um, I don't know. I didn't even look at them. In that price range, you know, they wanted a G note, and I just didn't even text them back or nothing. So, within a year or three years, they give you less CCs and they give you a smaller motor. Oh yeah, she's a beast. It isn't something you use every day, but it's better than swinging an axe. I tell you that. Or using a little six-ton. Um, that's my next thing. I got to put a metal cover over it, make one. Um, it's better than using a six-ton log splitter because they they won't split those. It just goes, 
Anyway, so sometimes you do get a screaming deal. Um, PT Cruz is done, uh, and the paddle needs to be worked on. And this is only had it said one day in the sun, three days in the rain, and one day in the sun. Day and tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. I got a week. Paint should be here Friday. No, on the 10th. So I'm cutting it close. Oh uh, yeah, the Tuesday. Um, I, I ordered it off the internet because I figured, you know, finished master, they're fucking off. And when they're off, they don't do nothing about it. But, uh, that jewel paint that I bought for $105 a fucking quart. Um, basically the manager just ignored me. Oh, uh, really? He, he's just gonna... Well, I'll just lay down, you know, piece of something. Commercial break. Mm. We're back. Yeah. Anyway. $103 a quart. Yeah, okay. It's gonna be ground coat. So, anyway, I bought a, a gallon of pearl, a gallon of white base, and reduced it up there in that pearl like $249. It's a. Uh, auto band or bond or whatever. It's the only thing that I can find that um, place that sold OEM colors that I could find. You can, I, I just sat and um, I couldn't find the OEM colors. Um, is it gonna be off? Well, it'll probably be off. Fuck it, a finish master's fucking off and they don't do shit about it and they charge me a fucking $105 a fucking quart. So I anticipate this being off and I talked to my partners and uh, I go on the internet and basically it's a fucking nightmare to, um, to get the match. It's not, I guess it's not that bad to, to spray if you feed into the doors. It's fucking good with 800 grit. But anyway, um, they say that they ain't gonna match anyway, so why go get a finish master money when they don't treat me with respect? Or even as a customer, I've only been going to fucking 20 cocksucking years. That's how I really fucking feel. Anyway, um, ready for plowing. Not that I'm looking forward to it, but I'll be ready to rock when the time comes. Piece of property, piece of oneself, piece on earth. Rest in peace, bigger piece of pie, piece of axe, piece of puzzle, piece of pussy, piece of corn, piece of pizza. And when the big dogs get all done fucking eating. Even the puppies get a deal sometimes like a log splitter. Thirty-two hundred and some dollars. The people I bought it from, I had to drive like thirty minutes away. Anyway, they had it in a yard sale on Craigslist, and they didn't tell you what size it was, what brand it was, nothing. What it was, and I called on Friday. No, I texted him on Friday, and he said no early sales and Saturday only. Well, I text them, ask them, you know, what size was it, whatever. I just figure, you know, it's gonna be some lame dick shit, cause. You know, if you're gonna sell something, you want some money, you wanna put all the information in there, which some people don't. Anyway, they come back and say it was a G-note, uh, Fisher, horizontal, and vertical, and I'm like, whoa. So I backed off like two hours. I just figured, forgot about it, kept doing other shit. And the lady texts me and says, uh, they're willing to let me come look at it. And You're willing to take a reasonable offer. Then I call her and I said, you know, ma'am, um, the reason I didn't text you back is because I was only willing to spend six or seven hundred dollars and, you know, I know a Swisher that's made in the USA and um, I didn't know at the time what they went for, but I know used ones go for like sixteen hundred bucks. I never knew what they really, I didn't ever search a new one because there ain't no way I'm going to buy one. And she, she said, yeah, my husband would take it. Uh, okay. Um, I'll be down there. I get down there as soon as I pull in. I thought it was a 22 ton, and that's what they told me it was. It was 28 ton. I'm like, and I seen the USA stick. I'm like, let me see this fucker fire over. I'm good to go. Let's haul this bitch home. Anyway, these people um, haven't sold their house yet. They have two little girls under the age of seven. He has a job doing uh, excavating, and they're going to sell their house, sell everything they have, buy a trailer buy a truck and they're going to travel and homeschool their kids. 
Um, well, um, that's why you had to get rid of the park splitter. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that one because uh, traveling on the road and living on the road, uh, maybe some for some people, I like a foundation. I don't know. But anyway, peace out, people. I'm sure you guys um, heard enough. I always just say more, but. Pimp Daddy. I wanted more out of it, but. Uh, Give me five and a half inches of height of sand. This is your little man. Four by six. It's really five and a half inches. So five and a half inches would be right here. This is where the bumper would be. Um, so what I do is, I raise it up, and then lower it down in cement blocks, and then put the five and a half inch, four by, four by six, but they're actually three and a half by five and a half blocks. Basically it's the same thing as these, these fingers flip, basically the same amount, Can the light on for you. The, but then they tear backwards. I, I just don't like it because they'll crease the car underneath. Anyway, um, enjoy your evening.